Hello, everybody. I just wanted to talk today about my incredible experience with an amazing piece of software called Houdini. I've been working on my game project for quite some time now, and it's an incredibly daunting task to create a game that you want to see made on your own as one person. I've worked tirelessly on the code and the mechanical design and the feel of the controls, the HUD, the menus for literally almost two years at this point now. And until I discovered this new software, this was about all I had to show for it. Cool mechanics in simple levels with next to no art. Now I'm not an artist. I'm a game designer first and a programmer second. I have a little bit of an aesthetic eye and I grew up drawing a lot, but I'm by no means an artist. So when I discovered that there was a software out there that allows you to be creative using logic, I took notice. Houdini is a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But to me, it's an incredible tool for game development. When you're developing multi-platform like I am, and one of those platforms is mobile, you have very, very strict polygon budgets for both art and your physical collision geometry. And when you're developing a 3D platformer, you have endless unique geometry to create with specific intent. That is to say, geometry that you create for your levels has to look good only second. But most importantly, it has to work for your game flow, it has to work with your mechanics, and that means endless iteration. Create, test, modify, test, modify, test, modify. And it's an endless cycle that, for someone who's not an artist, means that they'll be old and gray by the time their frickin' game is complete. In walks Houdini. At first, it seemed a little bit daunting. I had dabbled in Blender, Maya, 3DS Max, and honestly, they seemed pretty daunting to me as well, uh, which is why I never really pursued 3D modeling any further. But then as I began to work with the nodes, and with the help of a good friend who had used the software before, uh, I began to realize that the graph interface is actually pretty familiar territory for a game designer. Having made shaders, uh, visual state machine graphs, you name it. I started looking around at games that I love and noticing, hmm, all of this art looks like it was made with a system like Houdini. These things weren't hand modeled in Maya. The more I looked, the more I recognized the procedural aspects of Houdini popping up in games that I love. It was when I brought my first Houdini digital asset into the game engine that I realized, okay, this changes everything. With these digital assets, you can test and iterate instantaneously, literally hundreds of times faster than you could otherwise. You can even modify and test while the game is running. As I continued developing these digital assets, I realized that they became like a procedural toolbox of endless possibilities. I didn't just create a bridge. I created all of the bridges that I will ever need and no two ever have to be the same. At the same time, I was able to integrate certain aspects of the game engine into my digital assets as well. I just tell it what materials the sides and the top are, and the game knows what to do, what footstep sounds to make when the character runs on it, everything. I even have the digital assets automatically generate simplified collision geometry. I've honestly only scratched the surface of what Houdini can do, as I'm not yet able to work on this project full time. But I can tell you that as a lone developer who has very specific needs for their levels, nothing touches Houdini.